Hi, Gabe here. Thanks for your interest in the Swiss Army server. SAS is a framework designed to streamline the process of creating online multiplayer games. It comprises of a server, written in Node.js, and a set of utilities running within Unity that automate the most common tasks needed to put your game online, leaving to you the fun of creating. SAS is made up of two different code bases. Let's call them SAS Server and SAS Unity. SAS Server is a Node.js application that takes care of HTTP calls, database interaction, and real-time communications using WebSockets. Try and guess how much you need to worry about SAS Server. If you guess not at all, you're almost entirely correct. In fact, all you need to worry are about are two simple but essential steps. Hosting the server, and we'll talk this about in a later tutorial, and setting the secret key so that SAS Unity is authorized to operate on your particular SAS server. SAS Unity is a connection of classes written in C Sharp for the Unity game engine. It allows you to add a series of online functions out of the box, mostly with one or two lines of code. These functionalities are user authentication, reading and writing to a database, real-time synchronization of network entities, and RPCs. We will be taking care of having a small tutorial on each of these sections. What is it not though? SAS is not an incredibly specialized framework. In fact, it tries its best to be as general purpose as it can. The philosophy behind this was to keep it as simple as possible for the end user, you. Does this mean that you can't create an MMO FPS if you want to? No, it just means that you'll have to switch to a different framework if you want to use super-optimized byte transmission C++ servers running on dedicated machines. But there are essentially three reasons why SAS could interest you. Functionality, usability, and price. Let me explain. SAS does do a lot for you. Other more specialized frameworks might be better at a single task, but none will offer you the whole package out of the box. SAS is simple like extremely simple to use. It was born out of the frustration of being unable to find a good all-round solution to create online multiplayer games that wouldn't drive me mad. And as mentioned earlier, SAS comes with a server, full source included. Nothing is a magical black box. If you want to take it and write a version of it that suits your game, you can. Although at this point, you may be better off with another framework. Hopefully you have a general understanding of what SAS is and what and when it can be useful to you, or not. If you're still curious, I suggest you watch the other tutorials so that you have all the needed information before you make your decision. Happy coding! Bye bye!